So chat GPT-5 is giving us the blues with all the drama. I mean, it takes longer to think. It doesn't have good recall on, their, on the memory. Now it's leaving watermarks. So let's talk about how you can change your model, okay? So if you're in, uh, I, I'm sure this works for free, but let's talk about for plus because that's what I have is the plus account. So if I want to click down here on my icon and I go, uh, two things, go to customize chat GPT, right? One of the things that you can put in, I don't know if you know this, but you can put your name in here and what you do. All right. And then you can also change the personality of chat GPT. Okay. So delightful, cheerful and adaptive. That's the default cynic is critical, sarcastic, robotic, a good listener, a nerd. This will tell you how you want ChatGPT to respond to you. I think this is important for people who are looking for feedback. Okay, if you're looking for feedback and you want critical thinking, this is important. You can also add a few tags in here, like the traits that you'd like ChatGPT to have. This definitely helps with how it responds to you. So, now let's get into how we get to the models. Let's go to chat down here again to where my icon is and let's go to settings. Okay. So show additional models. Okay. I'm going to show you what this looks like turned off. When it's turned off and we go here, right? It's, it's automatically five. Okay. All of these are five. All right, all of these are five. And then if we click legacy model, it only gives us 4.0, okay? If you want a different legacy model, I'm going to go back here to settings and click the show additional models, okay? Now, and this is right here in the general tab, show additional models, okay? I'm going to re refresh, okay? And now we can see other models so we can go if you'd like 4.0 4.1 if you liked many you can go back to that there is no way right now to set an older model as the default it's going to automatically open every chat as five no matter what you do it's going to automatically um, open your chat as five every time you open chat gpt once you set it to four um it'll do it for this session you close out come back it'll be at five again. So always just double check it um, to see where it is. But that's uh, the new kicker, the new kicker. Now, there's been a few people um, that are kind of telling you how to remove watermarks. The watermarks are the, uh, basically they're putting uh, spaces, uh, but kind of like hidden spaces. Um, and so I'm going to actually link this video where this guy kind of talks about like what the process is and how, uh, what he uses to remove it. So check out this link as well and we'll catch you guys in the next video.